Hello, today we're going to talk about how to customize the new Windows Terminal app. Now it's worth noting that this is still in preview, so some of this is subject to change, but the basic idea and the basic concepts here should remain the same. So I'll go ahead and start by clicking on this down arrow here and going to settings. And that will open up my profiles.json that I'm going to use to make all of my customizations here. Now I've already gone ahead and collapsed most of these because we're not going to need them for this demo. But in my profiles section here under my PowerShell profile, and that starts for me about line 207, we're going to go ahead and start playing with these. Now these are just hex values, so if I put in a different hex value and then save it, you see the change is made right away on screen. Let's put that back. I could change the color scheme here if I want to, or I could change the starting directory, any of the naming conventions I have here, or font size. If I change this to 30, I see the, the change instantly as soon as I save. But let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper. So to start off, this since this is a Windows application, a Windows Store application, a lot of the data that it's looking at is under the app data folder. So if I go to back to PowerShell here and I look at my env local app data environment variable, you see that maps to app the app data local folder under my user profile. Now if I take that a step further and look under packages, Windows terminal, and there's some version information at the end of that, I see that I've got my settings here for the terminal application. If I go into the roaming state folder, I see my profiles.json, which I opened earlier, and also some pictures here. Now I've copied these pictures in in advance, but because the Windows terminal, since it's a Microsoft app, it has to read them from app data local. That being said, go ahead and take some time to look around for some pictures you want, and we can actually use them as backgrounds for our terminal. So if I go ahead and open my profiles.json back up, I'm going to copy in some prompts here, namely the background image, which references the MS app data folder, image opacity and stretch mode, and I'm referencing that techsnips.png that was in my roaming state folder, and if I save that, you see the differences right away. Now one thing that's pretty cool about this, th this might already be pretty cool, but one more thing you might not know is that the terminal actually supports GIFs and animations. If we change this to the other picture that was in my folder, we now have an animated wallpaper for our terminal. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.